man. Eesh. What's good here? I gotta do a real, a real review of these two joints. Uh, haven't did a real review. I did a little video of the shit uh, a few days ago, but you know you gotta eliminate a lot of damn cussing. Uh, we, we stick that shit on other media platforms. So I'm gonna review the couple little joints I picked up for my son. Um, one of them he's had for a long time, uh, maxed out 250 yards with. The other one, we just kind of wait until I found it for the price point that I wanted to spend for it, um, for that type of caliber, to give him the same type of platforms as his, as his dad when we go out and do a lot of training. Um, you know, even even with these two joints that I got for him, you know, when I go out and do you know training by my damn self, instead of me always blowing up five five six or you know three hundred blackout or three oh eight, um, you know, I, I mess around and I take out. The two joints that I purchased for him to learn with and uh, saved me a lot of damn money shooting 22 long rifle or the 22 magnum um, any of those damn calibers that I can find in large bulk at a cheap price you know 556 five, hard as hell come by right now you know where I want to pay for it you know? <laughs> you know, I'm used to paying about 40 cents around um, for five, five, six, not this shit they got going on now. About a dollar, dollar twenty-five, dollar fifty, dollar seventy. You know, the same shit with the three oh eight. I'm used to spending probably about dollar twenty-five per three oh eight round. Where right now them motherfuckers running a good, uh, you know, two, three dollars. All right. So the first joint we got, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell y'all a couple of differences that I noticed so far. You know what I mean? First joint is his. 22 long rifle um, M&P rifle that we converted into a precision rifle for him. Alright. That's his first joint with suppressor on it, everything. Stupid quiet. Stupid lightweight. Run like a champ. Well over 30,000 rounds through this gun. So I know it's reliable for him. Gets out there, he gets his paces in, you know what I mean? You know, it's still light enough for him to run around and do drills as well as set up the, the bipod, you know, and take some long range shots. Um, you know, so that's the first joint. All right. Now the joint that I just picked up for him, like I said, he gotta be like that. Daddy run that Delta uh that Delta Lima, and I also run that Delta Sierra 316. Uh, is my my main two joints, um, you know. So this is the other joint that we just picked up for him, and got that bit souped up too. That MP15 22 pistol. This is not a stock. This is a pistol brace. So he has the pistol version and the rifle version. Same same shit that I run. You know, when we go out and do tactical drills, you know, we keep our rifles on our back. You know, we got our pistols in our hand. We run through, boom, 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 boom. We drop the pistol. We got to run through with the rifle, boom, boom, boom. Take a couple long-range shots, boom, boom, boom. And just keep it really moving. All right? Now, we only got a, I only got 100 rounds through this joint. He has not shot this pistol yet. I got it. I put all the extra accessories to it. If you if you get the 1520, the M&P 1522 pistol, it comes in all black. Everything's black. Magpul handles and all that shit, right? You gotta you gotta flip things up your damn self in order to get it the way you want it. Me, I buy extra parts just to buy extra parts. You, you never know when something's gonna break. You never know when the government's gonna try to shut down. You know specific guns, uh, parts and, and accessories and shit like that. So I always tell people buy more than you actually need. That way, when you get another joint, you already got shit to build from. All right. But the scope right here, the scope on the top joint, has um, been set to hit 600 yards. This scope here came off of my 308 custom built. Um, I went up in the range for my scope for my 308. Uh, my The scope that I got on my 308 now does 1500 yards plus. This joint has maxed out with my 308 at a thousand yards already. So I know 
He can do a thousand yards with the right conditions, with the right ammo. Uh, he should be able to hit quite quite a distance. But like I said, he maxed out 250 with that particular rifle, with that particular scope on there. Uh, mm -hmm. his best so far. So we're gonna get him out to a different range to get him um, maxed out even further than that. I guess I have to make my appointment at Quantico to go uh, to the gun club that I'm a member of and go get some thousand yards with him or 500 yards, whatever it may be, all right? So that's that. Now this right here, um, like I said, haven't had it long. I put 100 rounds through it just to see how reliable it runs. Um, you know, I was shooting at 50 yards, uh, 25 and 50 yards, 50 yards dead on, 25 yards dead on. When I go back out this week and get my daddy time where I go shoot by myself, no kids, none of that shit, uh, no no extra people, um, you know, I'm going to see if I can hit 100 yards with the pistol. Now, it's it's been done. Um, I've seen other people do it with their actual M&P 1522 pistols. I haven't shot it yet, but we'll get that damn footage this week. All right. Now, with this joint, make sure it's clear. All right. With this joint, you know, we, we customize every damn thing. Pum, pum. Same charging handle as we got on the top joint. And we got some other parts coming in for uh, like the anti, uh, anti rotation pins because I do want to put the anti rotation pins on here, even though it doesn't have any recoil. That little strip makes it look real dope, and I want to make sure that we secure in the trigger um, that we upgraded. I'm big on the Geisley triggers. Most of my AR platform stuff has Geisley triggers in it. And with the, these two guns in particular, I stuck the Geisley S3G triggers into them. Um, the S3G triggers, they're, they're stupid. Stupid short. Stupid short. Boom. Stupid short. And reset. It's stupid short, buddy. And then just crazy, 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 crazy trigger. You know, extremely lightweight trigger. Allows him, when we are at um, specific range that we can rapid fire, you know, allows him to just pull, bum, 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 and dump 25 rounds that come in the mag quick as possible. Now, I do got a full mag here. Um, I am going to hit up a range around lunchtime just to have a little bit of fun today. Um, but, yeah, that's, just, that's that shit right there. That's that shit right there. Da, 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 da. That's that shit right there, boy. Ten T. Now what we waiting on to come in for this, we're gonna um, we're gonna put a little. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do a compensator or I'm gonna put a suppressor on here. We'll probably run a suppressor on this joint just to make it even more quiet, um, like I do on most of my other rifles uh, and, and pistol builds. So we'll probably do that. Now one of the main differences that I did notice. All right. All right, this is the one out of the rifle. That's the one out of the rifle. And this is the one out of the pistol. Give me a second. I gotta work this motherfucking joint more. the joint out of the pistol <laughs> so pretty much what i've been hearing online is there's no difference everything's the same everything runs the same all the the bulk carrier group everything is the same in the rifle as it is in the pistol but that is not the case as you can see the actual pistol has a curve cut out to it or a tilt to it where the other one does not 
Now, I haven't had any issues with this one yet, but I do have extras of these just in case this starts to act funny. I could switch it out. Now, the main thing that we have done, which I think everybody that has a 1522, if you run it for yourself for training or you run it with your kids, I think everybody should change out the extract uh, extractor. Get one uh, that's a little bit of an upgrade. You get the spring you get the bolt, you get the extractor that come with it. So I would change those out. I've already changed this one out just to get on top of things. You know, to make sure when we do, you know, bust a gun, it ejects the, the spent round out um, like it should with no issues. Like I said, brand new, still got some breaking in to do to get all this damn paint off. I don't know why m &P put all this damn paint on there. Um, it, yeah. Yeah, doesn't make sense to me, but it is what it is. All right, so those are the differences, and those are the similarities. The guns are extremely well put together. Extremely lightweight. Put in a lot of work. Great training tools when you don't want to spend a lot of money shooting 5.56 five, or 223 or 300 blackout or even 308. Like I said, those are the cartridges that we use in our rifles. Uh, and, and man that shit could get expensive much love much respect to everybody man y'all get some footage of these in the next coming days